Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel and today I'm back in for another kind vlog. So this time I'm at Mansell's Raceway where we're going to be testing my senior Votax once again. So this is the first time I'm racing my senior Votax since I crashed it back in October. So hopefully it'll go a bit better than what it did in our car event where I absolutely binned it into that barrier. So yeah, at the moment I'm just sat in my car right now. I've got my lid and everything waiting. So we just have to wait until Peter and Rick arrive and we'll start setting everything up and get straight into it, basically. I'm actually pretty early because as you can see, literally not many people was here. Uh, so that's quite interesting to say that these tracks just over there. Um, I would go for a track walk, but it looks like it's actually shut at, as of right now. So I can't sadly, but yeah. All right, boys, we got the homies here. Um, we got we got Mr. Nathan. Um, I want to be here, by the way. <laughs> Peter. Let's just go up to sign on. We've got the mad carts. Insane. So yeah, I, I think Tesla will be good. Last testing of the year. Uh, again, got the little GoPro mount. Um, also, another thing, massive. A lot of you were saying about the weights on the side. I have changed it. It's now on the back of the seat. So hopefully it should go better. Um, the steering is a little bit out. Again, from the crash, uh, you might just be able to see it if I go from here you might just see that it's a little bit out but for testing today it won't matter too much we'll get it fixed for the next IKR event or whatever race we go next let's just jump straight into the first practice session so the first practice session was mainly getting used to my cart again obviously since the last time I raced my cart I've actually been higher karting and stuff like that so I'm not used to my cart 100% yet so I just need to get back into the rhythm with it Obviously, the last time I raced my car, I crashed it at clay, so hopefully today I won't be doing that. But as you can see, just take it nice and slowly going very wide there because of cold tyres. The maxi tyres took a long time to warm up here, not going to lie on this day. It was very cold up at Mansell, so I really struggled with tyre temps. But eventually, I got them warmed up after a couple laps or so. So I basically just pushed a little bit and just got used to pushing a bit more with my cart. So I was trying to also find a really good setup for this track as they are looking to do some IKR races as well next year. So I'm basically using this session to try and find good setups and using this day to find good setups for them. And I found out that the sprocket I was using, which was a 76 in this session, was way out of the recommendation that people were using. Usually they say about 80 or 81, um, and next session I decided to actually chuck on an 81 to see if that was any better, and personally I found it a lot better, so we will go into that session a bit in it, but right now we will concentrate on this first session. Uh, obviously the lower the sprocket, the faster down the straights you go, but the higher the sprocket the better out of the corners, so this one is kind of difficult with the complex session. But as you can see, just coming through the quick chicane section here, very nicely, just a bit of oversteer there, I just let someone through, and as I let him through, it actually closes off the end of the first session, so yeah, a bit of a short session, but like I said, I was just basically getting used to my cart again, and just having some fun really, I didn't really want to get into too many battles, and practice battling yet, I just wanted to try and concentrate on getting used to the handling of the cart again, try and find a good setup, maybe for a qualifying session when Mansell start doing IKR races but yeah as you can see just heading back into the pit lane now and that rounds off the end of our first practice session So now we move on to the next practice session and as you can see I have thrown on the Christmas helmet wrap just for a bit of fun in this practice session. Uh, it will only be on for this practice session only because I noticed down the straights you can feel it pulling on your neck from the little dangling part. So yeah I decided to not use it for the next session afterwards but I thought you know what this one session won't mind at all and I didn't really notice until we got to a high speed down the straight. But yeah, this session sadly didn't last very long. As you can see, I go very wide there because of the cold maxis. Peter, who's on D5s, just manages to get more grip than me, apparently. Uh, same with the other guy who just got around me there. But now we cut on to lap 2 as we head down towards the hairpin section. 
obviously kept it with a 76 rocket still. Uh, the next session is where I move it to an 81. But as we head into the fast chicane section, I suddenly lose the back end here, keep the accelerator down, and well, lose it even more, which doesn't help my chances. I try and get out of it, will spin it a little bit, and then I decide, right, I'm on the fastest part of the track, so I kind of need to get out of the way. I can't really risk trying to pull it back onto track um, and then jump back in because if someone hits me or loses it there, I could end up in hospital and that will not help anyone out. So I decided to just do the sensible thing, pull it right out of the way so then everyone's safe. So yeah, I was a bit annoyed as you see here though. Alright boys, so we're back again. Um, I've done two sessions now. I've spun on the second one. First one was okay. A few understeer issues, but we fixed that now. We've changed the camber around because uh, we found out the front right is actually a lot more than the front left so we've changed it around got on much better now uh, we've taken off the chassis protector because we think that was a issue as well with understeer as it was scraped on the ground quite badly so yeah should be alright now obviously like I said second session I spun but yeah hopefully as recorded obviously we have to go through here once again well here I'm just watching him go around I'm on the track currently Watch people go around. And there goes Tia. So, yeah, um, basically what's happening is Nathan's out of my car right now doing some sessions. I'm sorry it's quite loud, obviously the engines are quite loud out here. But yeah, Nathan's just going around in my car doing some sessions. So yeah, I'll just show you some clips of him going around now. <laughs> So yeah, uh, a bit interesting, but yeah, it was only fair as obviously he always let me go in his car. <laughs> he always let me go in his car, so I had to let him go in mine. So yeah, um, we'll just skip to when I go out next though now. So in this next session, as you can hear, I actually have trouble starting my car. But eventually we got it going thankfully, uh, which is a bit of a shame, we only lost about a minute of track time really, but we really have to watch out because we're on cold tyres now, and as you see I have to slow down here to let people actually go around to a, a warm tyres and go full speed already. So I would say this session was one of my most favourites to be honest because I actually felt up to pace and once I got the tyres warmed up I was actually keeping up with everyone and actually getting a few overtakes which was pretty decent to say the least. I mean it's only a test session so it's not really about overtaking it's just about getting used to the car and trying to find a good setup but I really felt like I could push a lot more in this one and really went for it a lot more. And with the new 81 sprocket I was running now, it made it a lot more easier to drive and I felt like I was getting more power out of the corners and not bogging as much, which was very nice, especially for this hairpin section here, getting way better on the power. Sadly I wasn't as fast down the straights, but obviously I don't mind that because we're making it up in the corners, which was the recommended setting. So. Yeah, as we start our hot lap here, or our fastest lap of this practice session, as we head out of turn one, run it very nicely there, just keeping two wheels on the track still, head down towards a complex section. It's a very difficult section, this one, you really got to watch out for bogging and try and keep the revs up as best as possible, that's why it's really good to run and sprocket about 80, 81. Down towards another hairpin section, a very difficult corner, this one I was really struggling with an understeer and bogging out of the corner, so I really had to watch out for that one there. Now down towards the extended part of the track where they open it up for owner cart drivers as we head down to the hairpin section, get a very nice exit, really run it out nice and wide there, just avoiding the gravel and the barrier. Now down towards a very fast chicane and you don't want to be hitting those curbs there but we managed to avoid them very nicely and that was my fastest lap in this practice session. And we actually managed to catch up with someone here who was also in a pre-evo which was quite nice to say the least so we are really just trying to keep up with him and try and have a bit of a battle here and practice getting past people. Obviously I don't want to end up crashing into him and damaging both our carts or damaging my cart mainly so I managed to just 
find a gap down the inside of him, now try and leave him space down the inside of this next corner, go around the outside of him, make the stick very nicely there. I think that's one of the best overtakes I've ever done, but bearing in mind it's only in a test session, it wasn't great. It would have been very nice if it was in a race for position, but nevertheless, I will take it. So yeah, we just managed to push on very nicely, just get used to the cart with this setup. I let that guy in cart 16 through there because he was in an Evo, so there wasn't really point of batting him too much. I tried to keep up as best as possible and as you can see I was actually doing a pretty good job of it. I think my setup was a bit better than his. I'm not too sure really because I don't think I would have been able to keep up with an Evo that nicely for that amount of time. But nevertheless I was still trying to keep up as best as possible. As you can see I get a very good exit out of turn 1 there. I found I really knew how to take turn 1 very nicely and I think that's why I was making up time against some of the Evo cart drivers but nevertheless he eventually just started pulling away and you could definitely tell he was in an evo because just look at the amount of exit speed he was getting compared to me i literally had no chance of getting anywhere close to him especially after the hairpin sections as you see there very nicely but that came to a close of the session i think that was the best session i've done in a while so i'll take that but nevertheless we will now move on to the next one Alright, so boys, um, i just come back from another test session and I've changed the tyre pressures to 16 now as someone actually recommended us that and it felt so much better so I'm hoping we might be able to go for some pretty push laps next one hopefully it'll go alright and hopefully I won't bin it like I did in the morning a couple times but yeah, we'll just jump straight into the next few sessions and see what happens So as you can see, we had a fair few more people in this session um, they were two brand new stars who had literally just put their carts together and wanted to try and learn the track a little bit more. They didn't 100% know what to do exactly so they were trying to let us uh, go out first so they could follow us and try and follow some lines and little tips and stuff. But yeah, I managed to do a bit better in this session. I got around a couple of them uh, when I caught up to the back of them again. Um, but this session I've really felt a lot more confident, like I said, we've changed the tyre pressures up to 16 now. It seems quite high, but you'll be very surprised when you actually get out there, because I really felt more grip, and felt like I could really push a lot more into the corners, and it would just stick more. So yeah, here was my fast lap though in this practice session, as we head in towards turn 1. Very nice there, just sticks a lot more, we run out a lot more wider there, just keeping two wheels on the track like I said. Now down towards the complex section, a very difficult section, as you can tell with the eight one sprocket, it just wasn't bogging whatsoever, got a very nice exit, using as much of the track as possible. Run down to the next hairpin, the tyre pressures, the new tyre pressures I should say, were working a lot better through that hairpin section and down towards this next section here and down towards the extended part of the track once again, down towards the hairpin section, fling out a wide, tuck it in very tight, get a very nice wide exit, just avoid the gravel and barrier, now down towards very quick right left chicane, tuck it in nice and tight, don't hit the curbs or you'll completely destroy your ribs when you fly over them and that was my fastest hot lap in this practice session. We are catching up to another one and we just tried to follow him a little bit, just see where we were gaining time on him and it seemed I was breaking a lot later than him into the corners and he goes really deep there out of that corner so it doesn't set him up very nicely for the next one as you see we got a much better exit around the outside very nicely there and managed to get down towards the hairpin and make the move stick before we even got to that next corner so very nicely as you can see coming into the final chicane then to complete my final hot lap you'll notice here that there is yellow flags and I noticed that straight away and I didn't really know why there was yellow flags until I came out of the exit of turn 1 and saw the car just stood there on the apex. Sadly they actually had to check a flag the session a couple minutes early just because she was just sat there she didn't move which was massively dangerous but nevertheless she was new so you couldn't really blame her really it was quite dangerous to try and get out there but that ends off another practice session. Alright boys, so we got some new interesting news. I'm going out in the Evo. This is going to be intense. Um, no clue it's going to go personally, but I think it's going to be interesting. I'm, vlog I'm vlogging this. Tell me I'm vlogging this. I'm scared. Yeah, famous, any, any famous last words before I absolutely... 
Uh, don't want to show lap. I mean, yeah. <laughs> don't crush it. Don't crush it. All right, cool. All right. All right, boys, we got big shoes. I'm going to put my big boy shoes on. This is it then, my first ever time in an Evo engine cart. And obviously, the Evo engine starter button is on the side instead of up the front, just behind the wheel. So, yeah, it was a bit odd starting it from down the left-hand side of me instead of in front of me. But, nevertheless, I didn't forget where it was and I remembered that it was there, not in front of me. Uh, obviously, because it's Peter's car, I didn't want to push it too hard, and I took it very easy, especially on the cold tyres to start with. And as you can see, there's a couple of them who are just going slow ahead, and I do get around them pretty quickly. Obviously, I didn't I do any erratic moves because I didn't want to risk sending it down inside of them and them turning in on me or something, or me just going straight into the side of them. So I just took it nice and easy. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really push it to the absolute limit in this session because it was my first time driving an Evo cart. I wasn't too sure what to expect, obviously the setups are a bit different from my cart to Peter's cart, not just the engine wise but the whole setup and the handling of it, so I didn't push it completely. Um, also with Peter's I had to sit forward a little bit, obviously Peter's quite a bit taller than me so his seat's back more so I really had to stretch a little bit to reach the brake and the accelerator pedal but nevertheless I was going to make myself fit in this car no matter what because I really wanted to try an Evo engine and as you can see pushing a bit more now through the chicanes and all that and take it a lot more quicker as you can see I might upload a comparison video soon um, of a lap around Mansell's in my cart which is a pre-evo compared to Peter's cart which is obviously the evo so yeah it was very nice driving the evo for the first time to be honest I I could tell a little bit of a difference down the straights but I think it would be mainly in the lap times you would notice a massive difference uh, the corner and exit speed was way better so much better even though Peter's running a 74 sprocket I am still feeling much more better and at home in this car than what I was in my own car. Imagine if he chucked on an 81 sprocket, just like me, or an 80 sprocket. That would be insane amount of speed. But I definitely think because I was running the 81 sprocket, it made it a little bit more equal from my car to his. But nevertheless, I pushed on very nicely and was trying to push it a little bit more now, just trying to go more fast at each lap just to see where the limit is as you can see we'll get a trackside camera angle now of a couple laps so yeah just taking it through the complex section very nicely now onto the back straight as we are getting so much speed as you can see from the trackside camera as we head down towards the next hairpin section very nicely getting a very good exit even though we're on the complete wrong sprocket it's still getting very good exit so much better than what my car would be and now down towards the next hairpin section, the extended section, fling it in nice and tight, getting a very good exit run out as wide as possible. Now down towards a very right left hander chicane, taking it very tight there but just managing to keep it under, just getting a crack of oversteer there though which isn't ideal to say the least. And now we're heading towards turn one very nicely once again, running the track out as wide as possible just keeping it two wheels on track though as we head in towards a complex section once again as you can see someone spun out there so we'll have a bit of clean air once again as he is now behind me as we head down the back straight once again towards the hairpin section trying to get a very good exit as you can see getting a very good exit now we're going to get blocked up just a tiny bit here by this car just ahead of me who's in a pre-evo so it's a little bit different to be actually the one in an evo compared to my pre-evo and just heading in towards the hairpin section very nicely getting a very good exit once again towards the very fast chicane trying to avoid hitting the curbs as we do very nicely just getting a crack of oversteer there but managing to keep it nice and tidy and now we actually catch up to the back of my cart which is Nathan in it because I let Nathan have a go in mine again whilst I was testing out the Evo it felt very weird sitting on the back of my cart but nevertheless I thought it'd be nice to try and see the comparison out of the exit and as you can see I go very nicely out of the exit compared to Nathan and get past him immediately and actually pull away from him very nicely so I was once again in clean air as we come through the very fast chicane. As you can see, I see Peter and Rick on the right hand side here. So I started pumping them up a bit because I was really excited to be in the Evo cart and try it out and just show how excited I was to them. And they were happy that I managed to try an Evo out. I've been looking to try and get an Evo kit for a while. So hopefully, maybe next season I'll be able to get one. But now the session is sadly over and my Evo practice session experience has come to an end. Just like all good things do, sadly.
Holy damn. Holy damn. <laughs> so this is it then, for the final time this year, I jump in my cart and get ready for the final practice session. And I think it was just basically having a bit of fun, this one. We weren't really going to be battling, we kind of did the test we needed to. I think I found a pretty decent setup for this track, so I was just going out, just going to have a bit of fun for this final session of the year. To end the season off on a bit of a high, unlike when I thought I was going to end it with crashing at clay but luckily we got this day to just have some testing get used to the cars again find a bit of a good setup for mansells and kind of practice for hopefully when they do ikr next year so yeah really just pushing doing some laps this is just basically highlights of this final practice session and the best parts of it uh, really i had clean air really the whole session i didn't really run into anyone a couple times that i ran into a few people and a few of the new starters but I kind of just navigated my way around them pretty quickly. But yeah, just taking it really nicely through these next corners. Just showing how we've really progressed with the setup on this track throughout the whole day. So my goal for next year and next season of IKR, whether it's at Clay or Mansells, I'm hoping that I'll have an Evo kit for my cart. So I'll have more of a chance to battle up front, hopefully. And, well, mid-pack basically, uh, rather than the back where... I'm in a prevo, just having to roll around and hoping that I can get lucky with people retiring or battle the other prevos. Also, I am going to have a bit of a different number change and graphic or cart sticker change. Uh, I have already ordered the cart sticker kit and ordered the new number, but I will not release it yet. You guys will find out in the new year, either on my TikTok account or on Instagram, so make sure to follow me on them. A uh, link to them will be down in the description below. So yeah, I'm hoping to hopefully next season get a bit more up in the championship at Clay Pigeon Raceway in IKR. And obviously if Mansell's run an IKR series, also compete in that and try and do fairly decently in that. I really prefer Mansell's Raceway over Clay Pigeon Raceway just because I feel like I've done more testing around here. In theory, I've actually done more testing at Clay in the dry but I really like mantles because I've done a lot of testing in the wet here I've done quite a bit of testing in the dry and I just feel like the track's more for me Peter says he prefers clay but I guess that's just our opinions to be honest so if they ran an IKR series here I'd be very happy because I've always wanted to race in my own car at Mansells especially with the extended track layout so yeah now I've told you about what I hope for next season and my goals for next season. That wraps up my first year or season as an owner driver of my cart. So I would like to thank you all for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel and sticking around throughout this year because I really appreciate it. It's been a massive step for me in karting. I've been racing for years and I just want to also thank you all for following my TikTok account. We've just reached over a thousand followers and I really appreciate it. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the full vlogs, then make sure to do that and turn on notifications so you never miss a single video. But thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye. Hello there. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. I did. That yeah. was quite good. It looked like you were having fun.